So as a lot of you may know, I am a big fan of reusing old hardware. I think that everything that you have can be reused and doesn't have to be thrown out because that's a complete waste of technology. So today we are talking about elementary OS. Now elementary OS is one of the thousands of amazing Linux distros that you could be using to refresh your old computer or laptop in 2020. Now the reason we are talking about elementary OS is because this is an operating system I have actually used in the past for many different reasons. But I came back to it yesterday when I saw an article about somebody saying forget Windows. I put elementary OS on my Chromebook and it's amazing. And that's when I came back to elementary OS. So I decided to share it with you, share the process of installing it with you and telling you a few things about it. So first of all, elementary OS is a fast, open and privacy respecting replacement for Windows and Mac OS X. Now, as I said, it is based on Linux, so you won't be able to install any of your Mac specific programs on it or your Windows specific programs on it. Of course, that can be taken with a grain of salt because you can actually install Windows programs on Linux based operating systems by using a software called Wine. Now, not every software will work, but most of them work perfectly fine. So you could actually be running this and be running your Windows software on it too. Now, Elementary OS has a great app store. Basically, it allows you to install apps straight from the app store without even needing to find them on the web because Linux can be complicated for some people. A lot of people, when they think Linux, they think terminal, they think, oh my God, I'm gonna have to open the terminal, type in a bunch of code and things like that. Linux has changed. Linux isn't really like that anymore. Of course, there are Linux distros that are like that for people that really enjoy coding and really enjoy tinkering, but software like elementary OS makes this really, really simple. A lot of the drivers are there for you and you really don't have to do that much tinkering with it. It pretty much works straight out of the box. Elementary OS's app store is called the App Center and it has free and paid apps. It is an open pay what you want app store for indie developers because of course, Linux is open source. So everything you wanna throw onto this, it's open source. If you guys like coding, if you're into that sort of stuff, this will also help you out with that. So. I think I've said enough. Let's get into the installation process because that's what a lot of you are here for. Because this is lightweight, it will work on a lot more machines than let's say Windows or Mac OS X would. So if you have an old laptop or an old computer that you want to find a use case for, maybe browse the web, watch some YouTube videos, check the mail, this would probably work on it. And I've tried it, so I know it will. So I actually got myself an 128 gigabyte USB stick just there a few days ago. And I think installing elementary OS on it will be a great start. So why don't we get straight into that? I'm gonna launch OBS here on my laptop. As you guys can see here, this is the front page of elementary OS right here in front of us. As you can see, you can pay what you want for it. And if you don't want to pay, you can of course click custom and not donate anything. I recommend you donate because what these guys do is truly amazing. So of course you have all the things here about elementary OS. If you're interested, you have your multitasking views, picture in picture, do not disturb, all the cool modes you have, all the apps, of course, mail, music, the calendar, the files app, things like that. And of course, this is all beautiful, very minimalistic, kind of Ubuntu-like if I do say so myself, but it is truly great. So I already have it downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I am going to launch a software called Etcher. So you will want to search for a software called Etcher. That's E-T-C-H-E-R. It's Belena Etcher. It allows you to write bootable images to USB drives. So I'm going to click download right here, wait for it to download. And while that's downloading, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Not bad, considering I didn't have milk. <laughs> Now we have Belena Etcher downloaded. Of course, you need to install it. Now, this is a very basic installation procedure. You don't need my help for this. Okay, so as you guys can see here, you might be familiar with this. Belena Etcher is a very popular flashing software. It's also very simple to use. So all you do is you click flash from file, find the file that we just downloaded. For me, it's right here in my downloads. Double click on it, select your target, which for me will be the 128 gigabyte USB stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install it onto that 128 gigabyte USB stick. What that means for me is I need another USB stick to flash the actual installer onto. So let me go grab that. Everybody is going to walk into my frame now. No, you can cut, you could just, okay. So now that I have my second USB stick, of course you guys won't need two, you guys will only need one because you'll be installing it onto your hard drive. So I'm going to select it right here. 
my 32 gigabyte USB stick and I'm just going to click flash. It's that simple. You let Bellina Etcher do the rest of the work for you. So as you can see now it says starting and it's going to flash the installer of elementary OS right onto that USB stick. I'll be right back to you guys once that's done. As I improvise these in the process of recording today's tech video, it's going to be pretty exciting. We're doing another one on how to refresh your old laptops. So say hi to the camera. Eddie's there. Camu's there. My coffee. Make sure to check it out. Okay, as you can see there, it now says flash complete, which means we have successfully flashed the installer onto the USB stick. I need to change frame now because I need to boot from that USB stick and this laptop is recording the microphone. So I need to figure something out and I'll be right back to you guys the second I'm ready to do that. Okay, so Eddie has been kind enough to uh, sacrifice this laptop for me. So we're gonna plug the USB stick straight into his laptop and just boot straight from it like we normally would. So of course you want to power on the laptop and press your boot key. Normally that is going to be F12, so I'm just gonna start spamming F12. Normally it would show up at the bottom somewhere here. There it was, F12 boot options. And we are going to select USB storage device. As you can see, booting elementary OS live disk. Because yes, elementary OS actually has a live environment. So you don't even need to install it. You could be running it straight from the USB stick the entire time. Now, of course, I'm not gonna say this is a good idea because number one, storage constraints and things like that. So what we are going to do is we are, as a matter of fact, going to install it on my 128 gigabyte USB stick and use this thing as a little SSD. So we are just going to wait for it to boot up right here. As you can see, the boot logo has come up now and it booted up extremely, extremely fast. As you can see, touchpad drivers and everything is in place. So as you see, you have your language selection. You have the option to either try elementary OS or install it. We are going to click try because I want to boot into the live environment. If you knew you were going to be installing it straight away, you could just click install. But I want to boot into the live environment first to make sure it recognizes my 128 gigabyte USB stick. As you can see here, you have elementary OS. It is absolutely beautiful. It has all the drivers installed straight away. As you can see, Bluetooth, audio, Wi-Fi. So what we are going to do now is we are going to plug in my second USB stick to make sure that elementary OS can see it. And I am going to go into applications and I am going to click on install elementary OS. As you can see down here, we have a lot of different apps like videos, music, calendar, mail, everything that you will possibly ever need. And of course the app center that I was telling you guys about. So now I'm going to click on English and click continue. Again, I'm going to click continue on English US. I am also going to click install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. Okay, and as you can see, you actually have the option to install it on the hard drive right here. Install elementary OS alongside Windows 10. Once you get to this part, you want to click erase disk and install elementary OS. It'll be ex the exact same thing for you because I actually ended up taking out Eddie's SSD just for safety measures. So it thinks that the USB stick that I have in there is a hard drive. So exact same thing for you and you click install now. So it'll show you that everything will be formatted and you just want to click continue. You select your country. I am going to click on Poland actually because that's where we are right now. And I am going to click continue. Of course, you give your computer a name and you choose a very secure password. I love the way it thinks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is a fair password. And the password? Are you kidding me? No, no, no. Why would, the pa why would we make the password one to eight? It's good. This is the easiest password in existence. What would you make it then? Literally anything but that. And I'm going to click login automatically. Pick a username. All of this seems okay to me and you just click continue. And now it's just going to install elementary OS onto your hard drive. Okay, so as you can see guys, it has been successfully installed. It says installation is finished. You can continue testing elementary now, but until you restart your computer, any changes you made or documents you save will not be preserved because it is a live ISO and therefore nothing will be saved. So I am going to click restart now and I'm going to unplug the USB stick that had the installation on it and it should boot straight from the other USB stick. So as you can see now, it says, please remove installation medium and press enter. So that is what I'm going to do. And now it should boot straight from this USB stick here into elementary OS. And there it is. We are actually booting from a USB stick right now. It is a USB 3.1 USB stick, so it is a pretty powerful USB stick, but still, that's like magic to me. 128 gigs on this little thing. That's like larger than my first SSD. So as you can see, guys, right now, we are running elementary OS natively 
on the computer from a USB stick. So, you know, you get your tutorial at the beginning, everything like that. So I'm going to click skip all, get started. And as you can see here, you have everything just like you would normally on a hard drive. And if you guys wanna do this on a USB stick, go ahead, it works perfectly fine just like it would on a hard drive. Of course, it is more temporary, less uh, less permanent. And if I were to open the files app, no, that's the mail app, system settings, everything boots up pretty fast, even though we're running off a USB stick. If I go into applications and open up the files app right here, you can see the file system is right here on the USB stick. As you can see, it's a nice, very minimalistic, very nice OS right here. And it runs really, really smoothly. And of course, as I said originally, it is extremely lightweight, so you should have no issues running this on your old hardware and giving it new life. So let's jump straight into the outro. I'm going to power this thing off just like this, and I'm probably going to keep it on the USB stick because currently I have no other use case for it. So I'm gonna let it stay there. Okay guys, so as you saw there, Elementary OS is very, very simple to install. You have the App Store on it, it is very lightweight so you can run it on your old hardware, for example, an old laptop or an old computer, like I said originally, giving it brand new life. If you guys wanna run Linux apps like a Docker container or even a virtual machine, maybe even make a NAS out of it, Elementary OS can be used for that. So if you guys have any old hardware laying around or you just like really nice, modern looking, minimalistic Linux distros, Elementary OS might be for you. So make sure to check it out down in the description below. If you guys do install it, let me know down in the comments how it turned out for you and what you are doing with it. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. But tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys want to be part of the community, make sure to join the Discord, which is down in the description below. Make sure to join the Reddit, where I want to see you guys posting spicy memes. I just went on there today and I found a brand new meme. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see daily videos coming up, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. There, this is my no no square. <laughs> there you, go. you can't power it on yet. Look at this. I touch it. Back in. I, I'll, if you don't want to do it yourself, I'll do it. Alright, I touch it. You touch it? No, don't touch it.